Welcome to the AutoSys training video. By the end of this video, you will learn about event-driven job scheduling using a database trigger job to monitor a database table. To enhance your learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called the Head Moral Bank and demonstrate how to set up an event-driven job schedule using a database trigger job. Headmoral Bank is a multinational bank with many branches across the globe. The modern banking environment demands real-time response due to the evolving needs of customers in the financial industry. Customers expect immediate access to their account information, real-time transaction updates, instant responses to requests and queries, and real-time fraud detection and prevention. If a customer reports the loss of a credit card through the Headmoral Banking app, the customer care team verifies the customer's identity over a phone call and manually processes the request by raising an incident to block the card temporarily. However, the manual process can pose several challenges for customer support and the bank as a whole, as it can impact the efficiency of the process, the customer experience, and the overall security of the customer's account. To address the situation promptly and efficiently, the workload automation developers can create a database trigger job and define an event-driven job schedule. When a lost credit card incident is logged in the customer service database, the database trigger job can initiate the workflow to automatically identify the customer, flag the credit card as lost, and temporarily deactivate the card. Before we create and set up an event-driven job run for a database trigger job, let's understand how the event-driven scheduling functions. The event-driven job scheduling in AutoSys automates job runs based on specific criteria or an event in AutoSys. Using event-driven job scheduling, you can implement real-time responsiveness and flexibility in task automation where timely actions are critical, orchestrate complex workflows where different tasks are executed based on the sequence of events, build error handling logic to respond to errors encountered during job execution, and reduce manual interventions by automating job runs when the event trigger conditions are met. The database trigger job is event-driven. It is designed to respond to events and changes that occur in a database. The database trigger job can be used to automate actions, processes, and workflows based on predefined conditions and triggers within the database. Let's enter our training environment and create a database trigger job that monitors a database table for a lost credit card entry. We will also monitor the event logs of the database trigger job run using the auto syslog command. For this demo, we assume that the environment settings for auto sys are already in place. To create a database trigger job using a Jill script, connect to the AutoSys server running on a Linux operating system and open the primary and secondary shell prompts. Open a text file using a text file editor like VI in the primary shell prompt. Define the database trigger job definition using the Jill attributes. Provide a unique name for the job definition. Define the job type as dbtrig. Provide the target machine name. Ensure that the system agent and database plugin are installed and that the specified machine is defined with an autosys. Specify the owner's name. Ensure the owner is a valid database user having access to the database table specified in the database trigger job. Ensure that the autosys administrator creates this user in the database and autosys. Provide the connection string, database type, and table name. Define the trigger type as an insert and update action on the specified table. Now save the text file. Once you have defined a job in a text file, you must create the job on the scheduler. To do so, in the Jill interface, provide the job definition file name as an input and press enter to create the job. The job returns the exit code as zero if the job creation is successful. Let's run the auto syslog command with option E in the secondary shell prompt to monitor the event logs of the database trigger job run. Now that you've successfully created a job, let's manually start the job for this demo. To do so, start the job using the send event command in the primary shell prompt. If the start conditions are met, 
the job starts and waits for an insert or update to the specified table name. You may notice that the auto syslog command utility displays the event log showing the current status of the database trigger job as start and then changes to running in the secondary shell prompt. When an insert or update action occurs on the table, the command displays the status as success. The command then shows the exit code once the job is in the success state. You can also check the status of the job by running the auto rep command in the primary shell prompt. The database trigger job initiates the workflow to automatically identify the customer, flag the credit card as lost, and temporarily deactivate the card. Thank you for watching the training video on event-driven job scheduling.